Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Carolina Panthers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Detroit Lions and the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. You know the story by now, still winless on the year, and it's a bleak picture, to be frank, at 0-11. But with five games left, you've got to find some inspiration somewhere. You've got to find a way to win a game. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they come in in the midst of a pretty bad stretch here, losers of five straight. So many different reasons teams hit the losing skids, but the best way out of it, something has to happen positive early in the game. are over. It's all about football all the time as we're underway here in week 13. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section. What did the columnist write? Possible air raid. So we'll... And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Panthers have recovered. Opening drive fumble and the four miscues that they had last week. Four turnovers, Charles. So this is, this is a bad trend. And Brandon, you and I both know that they didn't just ignore what happened last week. They focused on it, tried to get better. And when it happens here again in this game, the head coach is going to see that as a direct reflection on his message to the team, and it's not sinking in. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November, already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. What are they fighting for now going forward? You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear, but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better, right? You know something? You're right, because that's part of it, but that's two different mindsets. That's front office mindset. Yep. draft position, where are we going to be and what do we need to get? And then the players and the coaching staff right now, pride. Can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the fact they have no shot at the playoffs? He'll look to throw. And he's got his target. That's more. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore. And it's third down. Looking to throw. 
Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. This one taken just inside the 10. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, this, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Now more off the play fake. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. This unit coming into this one ranked number 20 against the pass in the NFL. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now more. Open man is Galladay complete. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played. But you oh, the Panthers come hard and they block it. And they are going to take possession of the football. We're shut uh, so down. much for pinning him really deep. Short punt could have pinned him inside the 10. Now great field position the other way. It's never good when you're punting the ball and your eyes see the ball go back behind you <laughs> no. in however form, whether it's over your head or to the side, never good. Now it becomes a race to get to the football so they don't pick it up and take it all the way. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Here's a second and seven. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Grady Jarrett able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, the game the underneath stuff, you got to go up and make the tackle right away. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6 nothing. so field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Man, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Let's go, baby! So here come the Lions now. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. The numbers on the ground for Jones last week. 
20 carries for an even 100 yards. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The intended target, T.J. Hawkinson, and it's third down. To throw on third down, Moore looks to throw, fires right side, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. On, it's a balancing Jack, act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points. Blitz coming and down he goes. They can't stop. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. This is McCaffrey. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now back to throw. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They're going to look to throw. And the catch made by Johnson. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look, and look to the quarterback, but sometimes there's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. On third down, Moore. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Rolling to his right. He'll try and run it. 
And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I but, think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here, and he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Brian Burns in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit, right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. So if you like field goals, you've come to the right spot. We've had three so far. Well, this is a football game, right? It is. How you like that one, huh? You like where I went with that? How about that one? I like it. Okay, but hey, let's face it. In this game right now, both defenses have responded well. They're trying to hold the line on this. You just wonder if anyone can break through with a touchdown and put some pressure on their opposition. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A big play there from McCaffrey, 42 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a handoff here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. He'll look to throw. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Second and three. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. He'll drop to throw. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do for them? I don't even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Hopkins with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They trail by 10, 13-3 as they come up on a first and 10. Moore on first down. He'll have a first down past the 40, and he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. 
and the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. More now. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. On second down, it's Jones. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 41-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Going to give this time to the tailback. He's got the first down here inside the 30. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead down to three at 13-10. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. This will be fielded at the six. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. A good job in the passing on, game, six, decent job eight, in the running three. game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. We got trips over here. Trips over here. Second and 10. And that is incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So out now come the Lions. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? A little jet sweep to start the drive. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. On the delay, Jones. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. More now. Throwing on third and long. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. 
You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. An update from that game going on in the Meadowlands. It's the Dolphins that have grabbed the early lead over the Jets. We'll try and keep you updated on those events and others around the league as we continue through this one. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Kick play. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people, find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. And no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. To throw is more. To throw on third down. They'll buy some time right. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interception. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They'll set up to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. 84 yards. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And Carolina scores to cap it off. This fielded at the two. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. Around the NFL, we've got a second quarter score. It's the Dolphins that have grabbed the early lead over the Jets. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. And an alley to run. Now a 
I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Second down, it's Jones, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pick up, first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10, and they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. The ball gets bumped up. It's now second and four after the penalty. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, they really needed to get Let's something go. going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. On second down now, Water. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. The Lions on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This will be third and six. Looking to throw. Newman throwing the out route incomplete. It's gross. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. Doesn't matter where you start with the football now, they have to feel great about their opportunity. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive, and he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Back to throw here. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. You got three, three down, three down. Let's go. They'll drop the throw. And that'll be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw. And that's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this is going to hit the goal line and Let's continue go. on into the end zone for a touchback. 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Second down and inches. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Off the play fake, Newman. Going to throw right side here, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought Let's down. Go. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Jones has it. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Second and five. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Back to throw, Newman. Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. Kenny Galladay in the final seconds of the first half as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Terrific. Touchdown. I know we've got a game now. Yeah, I think anytime you go into the second half down just one or two scores, you feel not where you want to be, but in a pretty good spot. And I think for most teams, when they go into the half in this situation, it's not a lot of adjusting going on. It's much more, all right, guys, let's just play a little bit better than we did in the first half. Extra point right down the middle, and that will get them one closer. So that drive spanned five plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. Let's go, baby. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13, so let's get an update on what's going on. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Watch the pass. 
They'll run on first down. Hubbard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. They'll look to throw here. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. He went over 100 we yards in the wild card round. He's over 100 here as well. And a first down. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 19. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Ten logo. Switch up, switch up. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. And it's incomplete. Well, partner, so much for the mismatch. How about the guy at the second level, that big linebacker, able to run with the receiver and make a play on the football. They'll set up a throw. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Go, go. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Off play action. Newman. This is brought in by Brown. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. From the gun on third down, Newman. It's caught, Jones. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. It's a nice job hitting him on the angle route there. Come out of the backfield, cutting sharply across the middle. And that's good timing between the quarterback and his receiver. Effective third down play to move the chains. Now a first down carry by Jones. A gain of three, second down. On second down, Woodard. 
And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. On first down, it's Jones. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. They'll go again to Jones. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll run on first down. Water and strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the eight yard line. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. Not even a chance to pitch that one as he's swallowed up in the backfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Operating from the gun, Newman. He completes it to Jones. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle, right? No big plays given up, no balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Oh, you like Come that on, one? what does that mean, break out the, just because bre you break chestnuts? I I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Carolina getting set to take the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And yeah, they'll have great field position here as the ball will be at the 15-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about it. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Throwing on third and long. Newman. And that will be incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that draws him level. It's 23-23. So it's another field goal, his third of the game. Maybe not exactly what you're looking for, but does bring him level now. I like how you put that in there, that it brings him level, right? Because if you're talking about kicking, Bringing that soccer analogy in. I love that one. I love that one a lot. You don't want to go for it on fourth down and come away with nothing, right? Go ahead and kick the ball. Make sure you get some points. Even if it's a safe call, I think it's the right call. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people. 
no errors, right? Not turning it over and just doing all the right things. That's leadership and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to look deep for more. Now a clash of bodies here and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. So that'll bump it back to a first and 15. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Now to Galladay on the jet sweep. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he'll be hit and dropped for a loss at the five-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. But well, that wasn't exactly a work of art, was it? No, that wasn't a thing of beauty. That's just why I don't play in points per reception fantasy league. Is that, is that what they call receiver PPR? still gets a point there. Yeah. Oh. And you went that far back. No bueno. Well, I'll tell you what. I wish I had their defense on, uh, on my fantasy game. Off the play fake. Newman. And, oh, that is going to be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Now after the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football. And here's the free kick. And an alley to run. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Trey Flowers able to put an end to that play and in so doing puts an end to this third quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Let's get off the field. Let's get off. Looking to throw. And this one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away.
A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first and 10, Newman. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Newman. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Looking to throw. Newman looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. To throw again, Newman. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left, roll him out, bootleg him. Do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. Yeah, current formula is not working right now. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now back to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They're going to look to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. Here's Michael Pilardi now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Looking to throw on second down. Newman. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Throwing on third and long. Newman. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And this is unfortunately for him a montage he's probably not going to want to keep here for his files. And I'm not so sure that he would describe it as a spotlight, although it is beating down on him pretty well, as is the rush. He's been hit, harassed, uncomfortable. It's been a really, really tough day for him. Been sacked six times. See all that pressure coming from all angles. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 
And a nice gain of 21 yards. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. They've gone to the fourth quarter now in Dallas. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. If they can hold on, the win would be number eight for them on the campaign. He'll drop to throw, and that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. He'll look to throw. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Let's go. And Detroit getting set to go now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. Newman. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's a second and seven now from their own seven. And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to lead to a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in. Even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line, they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try and move forward. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? Well, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Back to the air on second down. Newman, he'll get this one to Galladay. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Back to throw. 
Newman, he's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Now this throw caught left side. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. He got 29 yards that time. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Now Jones. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are going to jump back in front. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself, no reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point forthcoming. And the lead is up to five. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. They'll drop the throw. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Back to throw here. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it's a second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They'll look to throw, and the catch made by Johnson. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. As his guys are in for six. And the Panthers are once again going to retake the lead. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. 
But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish him off. The score that puts him in front here late. But now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. They'll look to throw here. Oh, no, he lost the football. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two-point try. I think we can figure out why they went for two there, right? Up one. You want to make it a field goal difference, if at all possible. They didn't get it. Now they've got to play some defense down the spot. Yeah, not much margin for air now for your D. They just have to get it into range. Let's go, let's go. Around the NFL fourth quarter right now in Atlanta. And the Buccaneers have just extended their lead. If they hold on, it would be win number 10 for them on the year. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. He'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. So they need to determine if that knee was down before the ball was coughed up. And they also wanted to make sure that the ball was possessed as they were going through and that the ball wasn't working its way free before the knee hit the ground. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at... And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game... You can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Back to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Fourth down now, and defensively, Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He's back to throw. And this is Simpson with a catch. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down now. It's Jones. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Again, it's Jones. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. 
The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. Little clock management 101. And they will take a knee here. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And they take a knee. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises, really both sides did, but they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So for the Panthers, it's a cause for celebration. Their first win of the year after 11 straight defeats. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for Detroit... Not much more to say. They dropped a 1-11. And, and they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.